show you how to actually cloak your links or shorten your affiliate links uh, using ClickFunnels. This is a question that came up yesterday, and so I wanted to make this video uh, in case anybody else is having this same uh, trouble. Now, shortening your affiliate links uh, using ClickFunnels is great uh, because it allows you to keep your affiliate links on brand. Uh, this keeps helps keep everything nice and neat. And the other thing it does is it keeps it very organized and, and quick to access. Uh, so what I mean by that is this is my Brian Brewer domain inside ClickFunnels. And I have a bunch of shortened links with my affiliate links already embedded. Uh, so let's say I'm going to promote the affiliate boot camp for ClickFunnels. Well, that's already set up at brianbrewer.com slash, whoops, I didn't click on it. It's going to be at brianbrewer.com slash bootcamp. So if I am uh, writing a blog post or sending an email and I want to embed my uh, affiliate link for the bootcamp in there, I don't have to log into my ClickFunnels dashboard, find the link, and then copy it and then paste it. I can just simply type in brianbrewer.com slash bootcamp, and I know that it's automatically going to forward to the right place. And as you can see here, it's already going to have my affiliate link embedded right in the landing page. See, there you go. So we're good to go. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to build this page out. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. Uh, the first way is probably the easiest way to do it. Uh, the second way is the way I actually prefer to do it. And I'll show you both really quickly here. Uh, so once you're inside the funnel with the domain that you want to host your affiliate links on, first thing we want to do is go ahead and add a new step. Now, after I build this template out once, I always save it. That way it's quick to add an, another uh, redirect page. Uh, but the first time you do this, obviously you have to build it from scratch. So that's what I want to show you how to do. So we'll just call this demo here. It's going to be our demo redirect and we want this to be on the demo path. Go ahead and create funnel step. Now it's going to ask us to, uh, after it creates the funnel step, it's going to ask us to uh, select our template. So we'll just go ahead and start with the blank template and build out the redirect page. And we'll take you through the process here step by step. That way you know exactly what you have to do. Uh, so once again, you can just search blank. You'll find the blank uh, page template. should pop right up. And it does, so we're going to go ahead and actually select this template. Now, when this loads, you can see that this is on www.brianbrewer.com slash demo. So this can be my demo redirect page. Uh, the first thing we want to do is actually build out the bones of the page. So let's go ahead and edit this page. Uh, and then we'll show you how to get the actual link uh, redirects going here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that in, in just a second. But the first thing we want to do is actually add a new row. We'll just do a one column row and actually add an image here. And what I like to do on these pages is use one of these page load GIFs or GIFs. Uh, that way there's some sort of movement on the page while we're doing a one second redirect. Uh, that way people don't think the page got uh, frozen up on us and, and, and then they hit the back button. We want them to wait that one second so they get redirected to the proper page uh, with our affiliate link. Uh, so just search page load GIF. Be careful. Make sure you're not infringing on anybody's copyright. When you find one that you like, go ahead and click on it. Uh, go ahead and open that image in a new tab. And then you can go ahead and save this image ad, as uh, a page load GIF or whatever. Just make sure you save it as the GIF or GIF file. That way it keeps that animation. So I've already done that. So let's go back into ClickFunnels here. And what we're do going to do is just place that demo image right there. I'm going to go ahead and upload a new image. And what we want to do is we want to search the page load GIF. There it is. Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and place uh, this image into the actual page. And for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll just say we're going to redirect this page to Google's homepage. Uh, but obviously, in your case, you're going to actually copy the embed code there. So once that populates, go ahead and double click on that. Now we have this actual redirect uh, or this uh, page load GIF uh, embedded there. So we can go ahead and get rid of this section up here. Uh, the next thing I'd like to do on all my redirect pages is add another section or a new element, doesn't really matter. And what I want to do is just want to add a little paragraph down here. And what I'm going to say is if you are not automatically 
redirected. Please click here. This is for the people who are not patient. So then after you go ahead and add that, go ahead and select click here. And what we want to do is actually add the link that we're going to send them there. And right in this spot, this is where you would actually place your affiliate link or the link that you want people to go to. Uh, once again, in this case, we're just doing Google. Okay. There we go. Now, if we go ahead and preview this page, we can see, oops, we forgot to save it. Now, if we go ahead and save this page first and then go ahead and preview this. What you're gonna see is exactly what we see here, only it's going to be live on the website. So there we go, we got motion in our redirect. This means it's working. Now, of course, if they were impatient, they could just click here and be automatically taken over to google.com. But what we want to do is we want to set the auto redirect. That way this happens automatically. And once again, I told you we can do that two different ways. Now, the easiest way to do it is go ahead and we'll add a new row down here and just make it a one column row and we'll add a new element. And what we want to do is we want to scroll down and actually go down to the countdown and just go ahead and add a minute timer down there. And if we adjust this minute timer, we can set that to zero. We can set this to one second. And then we make sure it says the expire action is redirect to a URL. So we go ahead and delete that and go ahead and paste the link that we want it to go to. In this case, we want it to go to Google. Okay. And then you can always add this down, to, you know, move this down to the bottom if you don't want that showing, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, now, if we go ahead and save this and preview this page, what you're going to see here is it's going to load on to this particular page. And if we wait for one second here, it's actually going to then redirect them over, over to Google. So super simple, super straightforward. Uh, that will include the affiliate links uh, embedded there. Now, the other way you can do this is if we go ahead and delete that, is you can actually use a piece of code that we're going to place in the settings section up here. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to settings and you actually want to go to the tracking code right here and make sure this is on header. And then I'll go ahead and paste this piece of code down in the description of this video. The only thing that I'm going to have to omit because YouTube won't let me embed this is, is these two triangles here on the end. And then so all you have to do is just add those into the code when you go ahead and paste this into uh, your tracking code section of ClickFunnels. And this is just shift and then uh, the, the carrot or whatever that's above the uh, comma. And this is the one that's above the period. Go ahead and copy this code and go ahead and paste this into that header section here. Now what you're going to see here is you're going to see that this part right here is actually the URL that you want it to go to, right? So after the equals and then before before that little uh, punctuation right there. So go ahead and delete all of that. And this is where you're going to actually embed, oops, this is where you're gonna actually embed the, the uh, link that you want people to go to, okay? Everything after the equals right there. So this is where I'd put HTTPS. In this case, we're gonna to go to google.com, okay? Save that and go ahead and save. Now we, we got the timer out of there, uh, but you can see if we still look at this page and we go ahead and preview it, it's going to automatically redirect them over to the page that we want them to go to. And in this case, that was Google. And in your case, it'll probably be your affiliate URL. Uh, then once again, after this page is built for the first time, just go ahead and click on settings, set uh, the general here, and then go ahead and save this page template. And you can just call this your redirect page or something like that and go ahead and create template. Then anytime you need to create a new one, uh, you'll just grab your redirect template uh, or redirect page template, change this link here, go up to settings, tracking code, and change your URL out right there. Click save and you're good to go. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all very soon. Bye now.